Y'all, the Steve Harvey drama just got even more insane because his biological kids just exposed him for being a deadbeat. I didn't really have my dad full time into my life until I was 16. Right? Things have been very rough for Mr. Steve Harvey in the past couple of weeks, but it turns out that the rumors of Marjorie cheating on him weren't the worst of it. His four biological kids are now speaking up and exposing Marjorie for forcing Steve to choose her over his own kids. And this is why Steve has been a deadbeat father to them. Now there is a lot to unpack in this whole drama, but y'all won't believe the receipts that they brought. One night in Memphis when me and Marjorie first got together, we bought all the kids together, all seven of them. And all the girls went bowling and came back and decided uh, they didn't want us to get married and said they don't think it's the right thing to do. I swear every single time that we think we have heard the last drama about Steve Harvey and his messy situation going on with his family, something else comes up to show us that the family is even more messed up than we knew. And with these recent allegations that have come to light regarding the way he treated his own biological kids, listen, let's just say that they're not going to be nominating him for a father of of the year award anytime soon or ever for that matter but according to an insider the drama going on in the harvey family isn't just a messy fight over money or an inheritance or anything like that i mean i'm sure that the money also plays a large role in the drama but the insider claims that the real issue here is that steve's four biological children have felt unloved by steve for years while they watched him pour all of his love into marjorie and her kids now people have always talked about how admirable it was that Steve chose to love Marjorie's kids like they were his own kids. But it turns out that his biological kids feel like he loves Marjorie's kids like they are his only kids. And it's easy to see why they would feel this way because Steve really does act like Marjorie's kids are his only kids that he's ever had. Now this has caused a lot of issues between Steve and his children, but especially because he treated his own kids like crap. And I'm not just talking about like abandonment. Well, he did abandoned them but the ones who were only abandoned were lucky ones because his second son Winton was not abandoned by Steve and he had it way worse than the three kids who got abandoned. Steve was married twice before he got married to Marjorie and both marriages were a disaster. His first wife was Marsha Harvey and she is the mother of his first three kids Brandy, Carly, and Broderick. Steve started pursuing his second wife Mary when Broderick was still a toddler but he didn't tell Mary that he was a married man. He was already an absentee father in the lives of his first three kids when he divorced their mom and got married to Mary. Now a lot of people don't know this but Mary was the one who helped Steve build his comedy career. She literally put in all her life savings into helping him set up his comedy career so that he could make more money. He was still struggling at that point and it was when he was performing at a comedy club where Marjorie was in attendance. Steve spied Marjorie out in the crowd and he immediately fell in love with her. He tried to make some moves on her but she turned him down because he wasn't rich enough for her. Oh and they were both married at the time but I don't think that mattered very much to Steve because he even admitted that he had cheated on his first two wives a lot. He said, <laughs> Marjorie changed the way I existed. I'd never been in a healthy adult relationship. I'd never been loyal. I'd never been fully respected. Well he hit it big in Hollywood, made a whole lot of money and ended up dumping Mary. Surprise, surprise. He started dating Marjorie a few months later. He claimed that his bodyguard had been the one who set them up together saying, uh, <laughs> he told me, look, the only time I've ever seen you happy was when you were with that woman Marjorie. Now before you go and do something stupid and marry another woman, I'm calling her. It was like being reborn. I messed up so many times in my life. She made all the difference. When you're happy at home, you can make a lot of things happen. And while he was out here playing lover boy with Marjorie, he basically ignored his first three kids and it got really bad. In fact, there are reports that he didn't even attend the high school graduation of his twins. Someone who knew the twins in high school made this revelation saying, I went to school with the twins. They were a few years ahead of me, but people always talked and all eyes were on them because of who their father was. He wasn't present at their graduation. Now y'all, I don't know the circumstances, but that is really, really sad. But that's not all. According to Broderick, Steve was also absent from his life for his first 16 years. I didn't really have my dad full time into my life until I was 16, right? 
Yeah, it's very, very sad. But as bad as that is, the kids who were ignored kinda had it good because he didn't ignore his son with Winton. And listen, when I tell y'all that Winton had the worst of the first three, if you were wondering why Winton didn't get ignored, well, according to Winton himself, he allegedly believes that it's because Steve was trying to punish his mom by using their son. For those who don't know, Steve's divorce from Mary was messed up. And it looks like he was using Winton to get back at her. According to Mary, Steve used to put his hands on Winton, if y'all know what I mean. And it all started around the time he started dating Marjorie. Now, I'm not saying that Marjorie had something to do with Steve putting hands on his son, but Mary allegedly believes that Marjorie was trying to drive Winton and Steve even further apart. Allegedly, Steve got so abused towards Winton that the police had to get involved at some point. TMZ even reported it saying, according to the kids, Steve hit him with a belt and then a paddleboard, the kind used for hazing in fraternities. According to the police report, cops took photos of the boy's injuries, showing bruises on his buttocks and right thigh, as well as cuts on his leg. The police report says the boy told cops the beating was so brutal he had trouble urinating for days. The case was investigated by CPS, of course, but it it was ultimately dropped. So when I say the kids who were ignored had it better, I wasn't joking. Now I'm not trying to say that Steve doesn't love his children because he does seem to care about them a lot. But according to Brandy and Carly, Marjorie allegedly made it clear that she had to be Steve's number one priority. And Steve probably took that to mean that she had to come before his kids and was more than happy to do that. And just how did he show her that she was his number one? Well, he decided to love her kids like he didn't love his own. To start with, he adopted all three of her kids and gave them his last name, which didn't make a lot of sense to most people. This is because her first two kids, Morgan and Jason, were already adults at the time. There was no reason for them to be adopted. But Marjorie wanted her kids to have the Harvey name because she knew that it would open a lot of doors for them. Plus, she also wanted to distance them from the fact that their fathers were drug dealers, and the Harvey last name was the best way for her to do that. Steve didn't stop at giving him his last name because he also gave them preferential treatment. He especially pampered Lori and they frequently went on dates. He on one of our annual father-daughter dates to my favorite Japanese restaurant and you just started talking to me about guys and you just told me that you you know, always supported me and you'd always be there for me no matter what and you loved me. His alleged preferential treatment of Lori and Marjorie's kids generally has caused a big issue in the family and an insider said he did the right thing adopting Marjorie's kids and loves them like his own. But there's a lot of dissension among the blended Harvey clan. There has unfortunately been some jealousy lingering amongst the siblings over Lori, who's the most famous of all Steve's kids, taking over the spotlight with her high profile love life. But y'all, it gets really bad when you realize that Steve's daughters begged him not to marry Marjorie. One night in Memphis when me and Marjorie first got together, we brought all the kids together, all seven of them. And all the girls went bowling and came back and decided uh, they didn't want us to get married and said they don't think it's the right thing to do. But he didn't listen to them because he was the one paying their bills and didn't think that their opinions mattered. <laughs> y'all ain't got a relationship, a good job, a career. I'm paying for colleges and I don't know how I'm listening to y'all making some decisions. Y'all ain't got one boyfriend that done worked thus far. <laughs> so I don't know how the hell you finna tell me how to live. My sons was over there cool with it. Yeah. It honestly doesn't seem like he likes his kids all that much, so who can blame them for feeling a type of way about Marjorie and her kids? But even though they don't really like Marjorie all that much, they have to take their L's in peace because Steve will have it no other way. Now, we all had a slight idea of what was going on in the Harvey family, but these new revelations are just crazy. Fans left comments saying, wow, so sad. Steve took care of somebody else's children while absent from the lives of his biological logical kids. I view him through different eyes. I don't understand how you can turn your back on your seed and go on to raise someone else's with no real remorse. And funny fact, Steve hates kids that look like him and loves kids that look like Marjorie. Y'all, this is some insane allegations and situations, but I want to know what y'all think about this. Do you think Marjorie is as evil as they're trying to paint her out to be? Or do you think that Steve is to blame here? Let me know what you think in the comments and then check out this next video.